Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be discussing about M.K. Bhan Fellowship, which is a young researcher fellowship program supported by our Department of Biotechnology (DBT) and Ministry of Science and Technology (Government of India). The session will be important for those who are currently doing their PhD or recently submitted their PhD in the areas of life sciences, biotech, and allied sciences, and those who are considering doing their higher studies and postdoctoral research in India, then this fellowship would be a great option for them. So let's see what is this fellowship, who are eligible to apply this, what are their benefits and what is the procedure for this application. As I have said, MK Bhan Fellowship is supported by our Department of Biotech Ministry of Science and Technology Government India. The main aim of this scholarship is to encourage the young bright researcher to continue their research in India after their PhD and to stop the brain drain. So along with this fellowship, they also provide independent research grant and contingency support to perform cutting edge research in the life science and biotech sector. With the MK Bhan Fellowship, you can do your research in any DBT Autonomous Institute in India. Let's see what are the eligibility criteria if you are planning to apply for this fellowship. The candidate should be Indian citizen. They also possess a PhD in any branch of life sciences, biotech or allied sciences. He or she should not be holding a permanent position in any institute or university at the time of application. They should also have an excellent track record which can be seen via their publication, technology developed or patent. The student who have recently submitted their PhD can also apply to this fellowship but you can avail this fellowship only after the defense and the award of your PhD degree. The another thing which is important is that the applicant must identify the host institute where you are going to do your research. So host institute and mentor you have to identify so you have to discuss with them because the application should be forwarded via the host institute and it should be signed by both your mentor and the head of the institute. The upper age limit of this fellowship is is 35 years. Let's see what are the benefits associated with MK Bhan Fellowship. You are going to receive a monthly fellowship of rupees 75,000. Along with this fellowship, you are also going to receive a research contingency of rupees 20 lakh. The research contingency can be utilized for hiring the manpower, consumable, minor equipments and domestic travel related to your research. You can also engage one manpower, either GRF, SRF, project assistant and associate. The MK Bhan Young Research Fellows are also eligible for regular research grant. So let's see what is the duration of this fellowship. The duration is for three years which could be extended for exceptional cases for fresh appraisal for two years. Let's see how you can apply for this fellowship. The application could be downloaded from the DBT site and in that application form you have to provide them the personal detail, the educational detail, your PhD summary not more than 300 and you also have to provide the research proposals highlighting the broad area, title, introduction, review, objective and hypothesis of the research proposal along with the methodology and expected outcome. You also have to provide the publication list and in the application you also have to give the details about the mentor and the organization about the host institute. Along with this application you also have to provide the date of birth certification, your master's and PhD degree, your publication list and the host acceptance letter and then you have to submit all the these documentation based on your research proposal and application the result will be announced i hope you have liked this session and you have found this information relevant good luck from my side don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavor thank you so 